For this mixed practice here with integer operations, we're going to use the two little tricks to help us. So if it's the same signs, we're going to find the sum. And if there's different signs, we're going to find the difference. So for the first one here, 5 plus negative 9, first thing I would do is think of that as a 5 and a minus 9. So these have different signs. One's positive, one's negative. So we're going to find the difference between 5 and 9, which would be 4, and then which one has more. So the negatives have more, so it's negative 4, because the negatives have 4 more than the positives do. For the next one, negative 2 minus 5, they're both negative. So that's the same signs, find the sum, put them together, and keep the negative. So negative 7 would be our answer for that one. For the one after it here, negative 10 plus 7. This is again different signs, find the difference. The negatives have 10, the positives have 7. So the negatives have how many more? Well, that would be 3 more, and it's negative because the negatives have more. Next one, very similar actually. It's actually the exact same thing because the negatives have 10, the positives have 7. So we find the difference of 10 and 7, which is 3. But again, the negatives have more. For the one after this here, 10 minus a negative 4 is just 10 plus 4. They're both positive. Find the sum, 14. 1 plus negative 2 is just 1 minus 2. The negative, so this is different signs, find the difference. The negatives have one more, so it's negative 1. The one after this, negative 5 minus negative 5 would be a plus 5. So in this case, they actually both have the same amount. The negatives and the positives both have 5, so it's kind of a draw, so it's 0. Neither team, negative or positive, is going to have more here. And for the last one, it's negative 10 and plus a negative 6 is just a minus 6. So this is the same signs, find the sum, put them together, we call it 16, but there are, they're all both negative, so it's negative 16.